So I competed on Cutthroat Kitchen with Alton Brown. The battle was Battle Oatmeal Raisin Cookie. I am uh, Executive Chef Rocky Dunham with the Bivens Foundation, uh, Bivens Point, 1949 Catering, and my personal brand, Rock Recipes. So I decided, because trying to play strategy of the game, that there's gonna be something happen that I'm not gonna be able to use in oven. So I decided really early in the round that I'm gonna go with a no-bake cookie. Um, from the area, right? Everybody in the Emerald area understands no-bake cookies. We probably all had it. And fact is, I thought it was a common occurrence. Um, Susan Finneger disagreed. Uh, when I presented the no-bake cookie, decided to uh, inform me that uh, a competition like that, and particularly in the final round, wasn't the time or place to invent a uh, dish like a no-bake cookie. I was pre-law going into college, and I really think if I were sitting at a desk right now, I would just hate my life. When my parents divorced when I was younger, um, my dad, who I lived with at the time, can't cook. Can't cook to save his life. So I, I understand really quickly that I've got to do one of two things, either learn to do it better myself or just learn to enjoy horrible food. Uh, so I started cooking some small things, never really anything too intricate. Uh, it wasn't until college that I would sit in class almost every day and I couldn't wait to get to my restaurant job. Uh, and that's when I realized that that's probably what I should be doing for the rest of my life. I was a good server and a good bartender, and then uh, kind of trying to diversify myself, thought maybe culinary school would be the, the best way to do that, kind of learn the back of house. I went to Le Cordon Bleu North America in Scottsdale, Scottsdale Arizona. Um, at the time was Scottsdale Culinary Institute. Um, since then has uh, been shut down. A lot of people don't realize that Le Cordon Bleu actually pulled out of North America. I uh, started there. Um, my training was you know, pretty traditional, classically French trained. Uh, following culinary school, I got an internship, which is a pretty highly competitive spot, the one that I got with celebrity chef Bo McMillan. He beat Bobby Flay on Iron Chef America. He um, He's coached on Worst Cooks in America with Amber Rell. Uh, he's now a judge, a regular judge on Guy's Grocery Games. So that was really kind of where everything started, most, most of which was in Arizona in the Phoenix Valley. And uh, I always knew even then that I would probably end up back in Texas at some point in time. I grew up in the area and this is, this is home to me. So I stayed in the Phoenix Valley. Uh, I opened a restaurant with a family friend who was uh, Chef Joe Busson, and uh, I spent a, a great number of years with him. And unfortunately, he passed away. Um, it was a little bit of a burden on the family, and we decided to, to sell the business and, and move on. That's when I realized that I'm gonna make a move into healthcare. Um, there's a lot of things that chefs can do in healthcare because of the stigma of hospital food. Nobody really likes that. Um, that there's a lot that we can do to improve that. Um, from both a nutrition standpoint, but also a quality standpoint. Um, so I moved here with the Bivens Foundation and and uh, been with them for almost six years now, um, doing what we do on a, on a scale of high-end um, retirement and uh, extended care. Culture is really starting to embrace a lot of different foods, ethnicities, cuisines, and I think that's inspiring. Um, 10, 12, 15 years ago, um, mostly when, when Food Network was probably just getting started, we didn't really have the appreciation for some of the smaller cuisines and some of the smaller things that we do. Um, Marcus Samuelson, for one, Ethiopian cuisine. What do you know about Ethiopian cuisine? We don't, right? But now that we have access at our fingertips to that cuisine, it's really starting to open a whole new world where we can infuse and transfuse different cuisines from different parts of the world into incredible new flavorful dishes. Some of your most significant events have all been centered around a dinner table. Your first date, your family get togethers, your even your family dinners. Some of the best memories, some of the best um, events and occasions in our lives center around food and a meal. The word craft simply just means love and passion for what you're doing. And the fact is, that we have in this area of Amarillo, of the 26 counties of the Panhandle, we have a lot of people that really love and have passion for food and what they're doing. And we're really starting to see a lot of that happen. It really has only started happening in the past couple of years, and that's super exciting. 